what excites me the most about natural language processing is basically conversation. The reason for that is not only the multiple applications that you can have in conversational interfaces, but the complexity that uh, implies understanding what someone is saying or what someone is implying at a particular moment in time in the context of that conversation and being able not only to process and understand it, but being able to execute on whatever it is that you're discussing and understand it and, and provide an accurate answer that's human-like, acceptable and understandable by the other entity. We human beings are social animals. We need to communicate and the most natural way of communicating is actually uh, natural language is speech, is, is multi-modal speech as a matter of fact. It's not only what you say, it's when you say, how you say, what your facial expression is when you say it, and everything that's happening around you. Well, the reason why context is so complex is because we need to process different sources of information that can not only be processed in isolation, but affect each other as they occur. So we can possibly do uh, speech recognition and understand what the speech that is being uttered says. But then other things are happening. And if you analyze each of those input modalities in isolation, the meaning and the intent of the user will be different than all of them in combination. And uh, some of the challenges that we have ahead is collecting enough data in context, all that data happening together, so that we can model the meaning and the intent of the user with all those modalities in mind. Right now, the virtual assistant field is blooming. Most of these applications are actually very domain specific and you can get to a great degree of complexity, but on a very specific domain. So the challenge there is broadening those applications, those domains in an intelligent way so that you don't have to constrain yourself as a user to speaking in those constrained domains. Now that presents a number of very complex challenges that we are tackling right now with deep learning, machine learning and other, other techniques that are helping out. Possibly within the next five years, we're going to be able to include a number of modalities that we're not even thinking of today for very useful uh, interfaces like, for instance, autonomous uh, driving, uh, piloting, uh, even um, healthcare. If you want to look farther ahead in time, then you will find that all this intelligence in the different domains is going to be merging into specific entities that are able to do more with less.